Good afternoon, how are we all doing? Welcome, welcome, one and all. Now, before we get into these, can I just say that um, uh, I'm really uh, stumped, um, stumped, that's not the right word, is it? Um, overwhelmed, yeah, that's good. that could be a good word to have it. But it's overwhelmed by the um, kindness of some some people about what they say. You know, I mean, um, <clears throat> it's all about a channel. I mean, I, I'm not, um, I, I don't know how to edit these things. And, you know, I mean, I've got children uh, watching the TV today. So you might, you might be able to hear it, it's just there. But we all have to live in this one room until such times as I get, you know, permanent accommodation and then... Uh, I can have my own my own private room with my big light and my my phone as a camera and all the rest of it. But until then, you know, you have to just put up with the uh, you know the little giggling and laughing. And uh, the other thing is, um, somebody made a comment about um, the the music that I have. Um, just just to let you know that um, it's not to everyone's taste. Um, I quite agree. Um, there's no need to be. Uh, rude about it but um it's not to everyone's taste um but um i i suffer with asperger's uh adhd and um a couple of other things which i won't go into um so it's quite difficult it's taken me a long time to actually get around to doing this channel um with the help of um my best friend uh abel um, without you, mate, um, you know, you're the one that give me the, the, the you know, that the pushed me into doing it. it. It took you a year, but it, here we are. And, um, yeah, not everybody, uh, you know, can, uh, uh, you know, you know, the people are what they are. I'm not going to, this is not a rant, I'm not going into it, but um, basically somebody was a, you know, a, a little bit, you know, um, how can we put it, uncaring. You know, it's easy to say these things, but... If you're going to say something that's nasty, then say in such a way that, um, you know, it, it's like um, you're, you're going to help the person rather than... It's easy to just say, do you know what, that that looks crap. If it is crap, I don't tell them. I'd rather not say anything at all. It, or if if I can, which I do with everybody on here, and I've helped quite a few. Uh, there's been Ollie from militarymodels.com um, who uh, sponsors my Instagram um it's you know i've helped him and i've had some really really nice feedback from him um there was a, a guy that i was talking to yesterday that i'm going to help out i think his name's paul uh with some decals for his 32 tornadoes he wanted one he wanted a set of decals for every squadron he'd been in unfortunately the decals i've got they don't make anymore but um you know and i thought right, i can help him out so anybody i can help out i help out what's the point in being nasty, you know, or being, you know, non-constructive. And it was it was the same when I was building one of my Tornado models. I had a guy who was in, uh, I think he was ex-Air Force, and uh, like me, um, you know, being ex ex armed Forces, but he made a comment, it was a bit critical, and I said to him, you know, can you, can you help us then? Just can you help? You know, make it a better, more correct. And, he, and with that, he changed his tone. He helped me to the very end, supplying me with pictures and God knows what. And it turned out that he was a fantastic bloke. So keep the kindness. Don't be horrible to anyone. It don't, don't get you anywhere. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't help. And people like me with autism, you know, we don't just sit there and think about it. Um, for five minutes and then it's gone. It it can it the the effect you have on an autistic person through a, a nasty critical comment can either ruin the person for starters, or unfortunately we sit and it dwells on us for you know anything up to a week or two. Um, you know which is why this incident happened you know a few days ago now. But um, I just wanted to air something and just just say look you know. Uh, it's like these things, uh, you know, what I'm going to show you now is a little review for Madeleine who's in France for Arsenal, um, which is her company, and she does 3D printed planes. Here I've got some more. This is the packaging that's coming, so, you know, we'll open it up as is. But, um, you know, if, if I, I emailed her and I just said to her, look, there was a couple of broken bits. 
Um, and she said, okay, I'll, re- I'll replace them. She didn't have to, and I wasn't asking for replacements, but she said, I'll replace them. And it's that kindness in the world that we need to enforce rather than, you know, because um, I've just heard that uh, uh, <coughs> a person I know um, got attacked at work the other day and he's not the same man now. And bless him, he's a lovely bloke. Um, he doesn't watch my videos because he's not into this thing. But um, he's been round my house. And, um, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. But, anyway, that's the last I'm going to say of it now. So, you know, just, you know, all of you are kind that I've got on my channel. But if there is anybody that just watches and just wants to be grotty, OK, go ahead, be grotty. But just think about what you're doing and what you're saying before you say it. Um, and that way you could save someone, you know, a bit of bit of heartache because you know at the end of the day I could just stop doing this and not bother doing it at all and then where would we be then um so you know and this helps my autism as well so um thank you for listening for that I don't mean to go on at six minutes of crap that I've just spoken so let's go on with it so this here is the uh 1350 Enterprise now this is the mast that goes up on top of the tower so I'll get rid of this big box because this is like um, quite a few aircraft and bits. Uh, I'll put it here. So we'll open this up. This is what it comes in. And as you can see, there's a, a 3D printed item in the bag. So we'll just move that to one side because uh, when I opened it just now to see what it was, the wind caught it and I was sitting by the window and like a burk, it blew that polystyrene everywhere. So, um, yeah, but uh, there we go. Right, so we're opening it up. And just, no, we won't gently tip that out that way. We'll tip it to there. Right. Gee whiz. Right, I'm going to zoom in. Now, um, take a look at that. Uh, even down to the check plate grid marking on the top of the walkways I mean that is jeez that is stunning all the little radar pieces up there and the sensors on top wow that is and the fences blimey yeah. I'm struck for words on this good god that is a work of art in itself wow Madeleine you definitely uh, you definitely sold yourself there jeez very very nice so there you go there's the front and there's the back I look from the side Gee, that is nice. So that's the uh, that's the mast that goes on top of the um, on top of the island that's on USS Enterprise, CVN sixty five in one three fifty scale. So that's that's that. So what have we got next? So I'll just put this to one side now. Uh, We'll have a look at what's in this box. So we've got this thing here when it comes up, this thing here. And then uh, it's upside down as usual. All right, get rid of that. in the box so uh, right we've got some uh, how can we get how do we get these out I presume we just pull them out a bit by so there's some wings that uh, no doubt they might be the replacements to the ones that I had the broken bit on they're another lot of Hawkeye uh, they're the Placements for the F-18s that got broken. These are 
another pair of greyhounds. Uh, this is air to air super hornets. Um, this is ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. Right, that's the uh, the French uh, five six five Panther, another version of the dog fan. What's this? Is more super hornets? What are these? Uh, are these uh, are these these ones are the bomber versions? Um, uh, S three Vikings. Forgot what I got really. To be honest with you. Right, that's everything out of there. So I'm gonna put that there for a minute. And then these were. Uh, oh, these were E two D Hawkeye. So what are the other ones? Oh, they're E two E two Cs. These are E two D. So. They've, oh, right. And I've already noticed um, something. So, uh, so I've moved all the bags over there. So it's obviously uh, out they come, trundle, trundle, with a bundle. Right. Now, these are really delicate, and it looks like it's a bit cut off. I don't know what happened there. I think, unless they're supposed to be like that, because they're both the same. So you never know; they might be, they might be like that. I don't know. Um, so we got all the props for them. So there's one damaged one there, but out of all them damaged ones. I've got one good one, uh, two good ones, four good ones. So there's the damage one there. But that's not really the issue because you've got the eight bladed for the for the Hawkeye. So this is how they turn up. Oh, I'm on Zoom. I didn't think I was on Zoom. So that's how they turn up. And you just have to uh, cut the, uh, the, the aircraft away from all the um, stands. So it's got the flaps down. So that one's obviously ready to, you know, down the runway, uh, down the carrier strip. So that's um, that's two of them. You get two of those, and then your, your two radomes. But yeah, looks like the edge is a bit flat on there. But it doesn't matter, you know. Um, like I say, I don't, I don't think they're supposed to be flat, but they're obviously where they might have been joined and have been. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know because I'm. I haven't 3D printed anything in my in my life yet, so um, that's the hall guys. So we'll just push them over there. Oh, you don't don't mess with that. That's broken that tile. Leave that alone because you'll cut your fingers. Right, that's the that's the hall and their bits. So we'll just put those there. Yeah, don't touch the tile kit because you you'll cut your fingers open, mate. So that's that's that over there. Um, what should we look at next? So, got um, E two Cs. Oh no, they got a full disc. So I don't know. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. There's two full discs in there. So um, what else is different on there? So you have got the eight blades, haven't you? And then you've got. So I think the actual does the aircraft look the same? I don't know. I, don't, I think it's a. It's kind of got the same basic look, but whether it's. Right, so again, so we've got two aircraft. This is the E2C. This is where we need the four-bladed prop. And bingo, we've got all, all four intact on there. And then two, two radomes. The bump is less in the middle, so there is a difference there. Um, so as you can see, there's a little lump there and there isn't, there's just a, like, a little flat washer looking thing there. So with the aeroplane itself, there's the D and there's the C. Um, yeah, they kind of look exactly the same. I think it was just propeller blades, avionics, and that radome, by the looks of things. 
They're absolutely bloody fantastic. And I mean, just look at them. I mean, absolutely amazing. Do you know, the thing, when I used to work at the airport when I was doing the fueling, um, we used to have this, uh, was it an ATR? 72, I think the two engine one is. And they used to come in, it was a Arini Airlines, and they used to come in. And when they used to come in, they were the only props that we had, and they were turbo props, and they used to sound like the Hawkeye. I tell you, it was quite, um, it was quite something. And I used to really enjoy listening to them start up, taxi out. I tell you, great, great times. Great times being a fueler at Gatwick. Uh, Heathrow, um, the, uh, the, the, the same thing there. We had more, more varieties, but the props were usually a lot bigger. So, you know, you had the big Russian freighter jobs that, uh, you know, used to come trundled in and you had their massive whirring engines. Most of them would, most of the stuff that went in with jet rather than prop, but you used to have the F-50 or the F-27 Friendship, but it was upgraded to the F-50, the Fokker F-50. So these, these two are the Greyhounds, um, again, yep, all props intact, beautiful. And now, now the difference between these and the last ones, the last ones I had, they had the, the wings folded backwards. And um, when you looked in through the back door, you could actually see the two, the four re rear facing sets with two, two seats either side like this. And they were facing back towards the back of the aircraft. Unbelievable data. And part of the corridor as well. And I just, you know, um, I mean, this this young lady uh, does an absolute, you know, smashing job on making these for, for us with aircraft carriers. Even if you just wanted to set up a 1350 scale airfield, you know, and you wanted to do like a, a military a military airbase. I mean, these are, these are just the job, man. Yeah, they really are are of um, superb, you know, quality. It's just a, it's just it's just something else. So, um, oh, what have we got here? Uh, oh, these are super hornets, right? So, so we've done we've done the Hawkeyes, uh, we've done the Grounds. So now we're getting on to the super hornets. Now, now this is something special. This is the weapons and I mean, there's your fuel tanks. Um, I think amongst those, so you've got your wing fuel tanks, then you've got your center line fuel tanks, then you've got your empty pylons, and then you've got your pylons with missiles on and bombs on. I mean, <gasps> Jesus, can I get any closer? I mean, just look at those. That is your laser, what are they, GBU 12s there, I think? And then your GBU 24 bunker buster things there on the end. I mean, wow. <laughs> I know a lot of you are probably saying, Christ, mate, I don't envy you getting them lot. But you know what? These things literally blow off. You can blow them and they'll fall off. That's how delicate they are attached to these little sprues. But that is fan bloody tastic. Madeline, what have you created? Wow. I mean, you know... Don't get me wrong, this woman doesn't give me these for free. I've paid for all of this because I've got the aircraft carrier. I know that um, uh, the uh, Enterprise might not have carried a uh, Super Hornets, but you know what? I, I like it. I like the Jolly Roger Squadron. It's my favourite unit out of all. I went to see him when they had their first initial Super Hornet, and it was all in grey. They hadn't had the Cagbird then. And I went and I went to see it, and it was it was amazing. The bloody thing looked superb, just sat in the hangar, and this is how it looked. It was just a plain aircraft layout with the wings down. The wings weren't folded, and it had no weapons, no pylons. I mean, the, the, yeah, this is unbelievable. Look at the detail in the light. We shine a light on it. I mean, that's that's fantastic. It really is, and they're just literally so delicate. I mean, you could you probably. I'll have to have a go and see if I can put them in hot water and see if I can part them that way. Because last time I, I kind of s s used used a little pair of um, sharp snips to just snip away. It took forever to get get them all off, but um, you know they did they did come out. But 
<clears throat> before I had a, a chance, there was a few broken in the bag already. And there were some bits in the bottom and I thought, oh dear, you know, never mind. I might be able to make it with plastic card, but I didn't expect, you know, um, La Arsenal to, uh, is it La Arsenal? Is it La Arsenal? Probably La Arsenal, really. I'll have to ask my, um, there's a, a dad up the school in uh, Lorraine and he's, uh, he's French, hence with that name. And um, I asked him last time uh, something about the, the, the goings on in, in France to do with things like this. And he, he told me the correct, correct pronunciation for it. And uh, yeah, thanks to him. So this is, uh, oh, hang on, wait a minute. So this is, uh, what's that, what is that? Oh, these are two seaters, two seaters. Right, so this is, so, oh, right, these are the air-to-air -air ones, they're the air-to-ground. So the air-to-air -air ones, you get all of this. What's that thing? Oh, this is supposed to be one of these, but didn't quite make it. So look at that, you've got air-to-air. -air. So you've got your AMRAMs, your Sidewinders, your, um, what are they, AIM 9X or whatever they are, the new ones. Then you've got your Harpoon missiles. Then you've got double AMRAMs, um, buddy pod, fuel tanks, centre line fuel tanks. Unbelievable. Wow. Great stuff. Great stuff. You know, if it wasn't for, you know, people learning and, you know, people doing things like this, we, we wouldn't be going, we wouldn't be progressing in modelling. I mean, I want to get into this 3D printing. Um, I haven't got a 3D printer. Um, a, a, a friend I know has offered me one, um, and I might take him up on his offer now, because I'm starting to, things are starting to come around the corner. Um, I've got uh, a job interview with the lovely Waitrose uh, next week, and uh, not next week, the week after, on the last day of the month. So um, hopefully I'll just walk into it and uh, and life will start to go the other way and pleasantries and everything else. Um, I've got to um, find out how uh, I can get some merchandise made. Um, Ollie at uh, Military Models has given me uh, one good idea. I've, I've had a quick brief look. I haven't done anything uh, about it yet, but... Um, I will do. I will follow it up. So I should have some, hopefully, very soon, some T-shirts and some hoodies, uh, a mug that you can have my bloody guys modelling channel on it, if you like. Um, so, yeah, so I'll get those done. And then it, it, as I get better and better, I'll I'll make some more decent, decent stuff. And, um, yeah, and it's up to you lot whether you want to buy it, but it's there for the taking. So it's not there at the moment. Um, I'm still working on it. But once once I've uh, finalised it, you'll be the first to know if you watch my channel. So here we got the, the fuel tanks. Um, there's some Harpoon missiles. And that looks like a... This, this is what they are. That looks like a buddy pod, which is a refuelling... Basically, it's a refueling pod with the, uh, it won't stay over, with the uh, parachute pack in the back. That's what it looks like. I presume that's what it is. And there you've got a fuel tank for the S3 Viking. So these are the S3 Vikings. So you get these ones here. And, um, oh my God, it's even got the snatch bar on the front. Oh wow, bloody hell. Excuse my uh, French, but. Uh... God, wow, are you telling me that that's. What well, looks like, yeah, jet fans in there, just individual jet fans. Oh my bloody good God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that's your S3 Viking. So that's one with the tail up and wings folded. And then you get another two, which is with the tail folded. My God, and you even get the... Oops, I'm going a bit off camera because I'm, I'm being stupid with my hands. Oh, my life. That is... Look at that. Even there, look. There. 
can see up there. It doesn't go far. I mean, you're not going to get a full interior on these things, but my goodness. That is, that is something else. Wow. That is really nice. That is really nice. They, they are nice. So you get two of them with the tiles and then three with the the the, um, the uh, tiles folded up. So I'll have to see if I can get some uh, ones with the, the wings flat out, you know, on the on the catapult. Um, let's just put these over here. So they they are. Um, I'll tell you what. What's going to set these off best now is um, is if I can get some decals with. If there is a kind person out there that would like me to review some decals to fit these things, um, then yeah, great for the viewers. You know, let's, let's rock it in. Um, I mean, after all, there's going to be a day and a time when I'm going to... Well, I have started the Enterprise. I just I just never got around to... I tried to do all the updates myself, but now 3D printing has come along. There are some stuff. I mean, Shapeways is one of the, the, the lots that's got... Um, <clears throat> you know, some bits and pieces for these things. So, oh my word, you are joking me. That's a uh, gee bloody. Right, let's just move these to one side. Let me set them up so I know what I'm looking at here. Uh, so, I've got that, that, that one, that one, that one. And another two, so there and there. Right, so this is the Panther, which is basically a, a Dolphin helicopter. Oh my goodness gracious me. That's got a full interior. There's no glass, but that has got a full interior. Oh my life. Even down to the fine bladed fan bits at the back, look. Oh my goodness me. And it's got the uh, rescue pod on the side. Bloody. <laughs> well, I'll be. Absolutely fantastic. And they're all the same. Yep, they're all the same. So they're all the same as this one. So there's no point showing you all four. So they're all the same as that one. And just look at that, that little turbine there in the back. Oh my good God. Do you know what? This is this is unbelievable. I mean, there, here's your main rotor. So you've got your rotor blades and then obviously the rotor the head is inside the is inside here it's inside there and that just sits on there like that and then for carrier use you've got the folded blade set and that shows you the the blades all folded away gee whiz that is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable Young lady, you have done yourself proud on these. These are absolutely stunning. And then this, just to finish it off, uh, we'll have a look at these, because these are the ones that were the replacement ones. So this is to give you an idea of what I had um, last time. So a little bit of a... Oh Christ, what's happening there? Right, there's one. Maybe maybe I should just cut the end off this bag because I'm not going to use this bag. Cut the end off and then just take the three out. Oh, there's a couple of bits. Oh, look. <laughs> one, one bit there come off. That one's all right by the looks of things. Oh, no, it's not. Look, the towel. Oh, no, it's bad mould. So it's not it's not been moulded right. That doesn't matter. I might be able to just cut that wing off to replace the wing on the other one that I lost the wing to. Uh, this one's all right. A uh, bit missing there, but there's a couple of bits here that I might be able to 
sort out. Yeah, so there's, there's three bits here. So there's one bit, two bits missing. So two of them bits are the ends of these there. Um, so they're all right. Unfortunately, this is what happens in 3D printing. You know, they they stop overnight or something, but that one's a complete aeroplane. This one is a complete aeroplane, but this one is kind of, I think, I don't know what's happened there. Look, he's sagged at the back, the tail's at it. But other than that, I can use the wings, definitely use the wings. And then the other one was the, the wing set. As a matter of fact, I won't I'll just cut this off as well. And uh, yeah, basically what it was, I had a set of wings and where they'd been printed, there was a big bit that hadn't been printed on the back. So it's just a big hole there. So yeah, these are all good, all good to go. So yeah. Right, bloody marvellous. Bloody marvellous. Well, there you go. So that's the last little um, aircraft for the carrier. Um, absolutely tibbity top when it comes to it. Um, I've never never seen anything like this. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I bought the first, first batch, which were only a few, just to see what they were like. Was absolutely blown away by them. Then I thought, right, okay, I'll give it another go. Uh, this time I'll do a f some select ones. And, um, yeah, and I'll tell you what, I'm still blown away. Absolutely blown away. That is, that is, well, that's something else. So, um, yeah, so anyway, so this is Clive's Modeling Channel. Saying goodbye and um, enjoy your modeling. Um, I have got a couple more reviews to do on some items. Um, just waiting for one or two bits to turn up and then i'll be reviewing them um and yeah there's some more good things coming um also uh, diddly 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 diddly, i can't remember what his bloody website is now uh was it on here Sounds like one of them's about to break the TV. Don't break the TV, we won't have anything to watch. No, 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 don't don't draw on it. Don't don't do anything with the TV, let alone draw on it. Uh oh, where is it now? That's the bloody thing I'm looking for. Search group, see so yeah, look, it would have been better if I'd just done that. There it is. Right, and... Uh, oh, there we go. Right, so there's a website you can go to. And uh, just having a look. And, yep, yeah, that's it. And it's a Tornado Scale Model Parts, and he does a lot of stuff. So if you look up Tornado Scale Model Parts on uh, Facebook, <coughs> that guy, uh, Mark, his name is, um, he does all stuff Tornado. He's doing a few other bits and pieces. So he does the cockpits, uh, the engines. Um, I've got some stuff of his. I'm just waiting for one piece to come back because apparently there was a... There was a bit missing in one of his parcels. So um, when that comes back, I'll be doing a full review on, on what I've got of his. Um, there's also another guy that's to do with tornadoes. Um, and he is... Hang on, I'll soon tell you who he is. I don't need to go there because he's in here. Um, yeah. Uh, Jet Passion Scale Models. That's another guy, uh, Eduardo. And he does some tornado stuff as well. And I've got uh, 
where I'm doing my tornado build, there's a, a piece there because um, Nigel of the Tornado Sig, he wants me to give him a shout when I've put the video out to do with how to fit that into the tornado, what I've got for it. So that's not too far away either. Um, other than that, um, we just have to wait and see what, what happens. Like I say, I'm, I'm turning and fraying at the moment as to what I'm, what I'm going to be doing next. Um, my son's Hurricane's over there. So um, he's off. His last day of school's tomorrow. Then he's off for a week. So no doubt in that week, we will finish it. And we'll put it here on YouTube. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thanks to all you lot for supporting me and being kind. Uh, best of luck to you. Uh, good health to you. Stay strong, people. And um, we'll see you in the next one. It's bye-bye from me and the channel. And we'll see you soon.